What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie back with another video for y'all. In this video right here, we're gonna be talking about if we have Uranus in Taurus or in the second house. And I'll pause for the cause. If you don't know how to find your Uranus placement, if you're a new subscriber, first of all, welcome. If you don't know how to read your birth chart, if you don't understand why it's so important that you understand yourself through astrology and numerology, you study yourself and you love yourself by learning about who you are energy-wise, don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos, I'll put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you look at your birth chart or your natal chart, it's the same thing. And you realize you have Uranus and Taurus, or most likely watching this video, you have <laughs> most likely watching this video, you have Uranus in the second house. This video is for you. So without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? And you already know before I start, I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Uranus and Taurus people look like and act like in reality. Then I'm gonna have a list of celebrities that have Uranus in the second house. So to start, we got John Lennon, Bruce Lee. Al Pacino, Nikola Tesla, Tina Turner, Muhammad Ali, Morgan Freeman, Aretha Franklin, Pele, and Richard Pryor. And now these are the celebrities that have Uranus in the second house. We got Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Lana Del Rey, Katy Perry, Nicole Scherzinger, John Mayer, Malcolm X, Frank Ocean, and Raven Simone. All right, so boom, Uranus and Taurus, or Uranus in the second house. First of all, what does Uranus mean? What does, Uranus, what does Uranus represent in the birth chart? So the planet Uranus is an outer planet to start. So it's one of the planets that move slower than your inner planet. So it takes seven years to change. So this is a generational planet. So people that are born in your generation have the same Uranus sign. What makes y'all different, and I always say this in my videos, is to look at what house your Uranus sign is in. It's not gonna have a strong effect on you unless it is conjunct with one of your inner planets like your sun, your moon, your Venus, and also understand what area in life that is actually playing out is looking at the house that it's in. So if you have Uranus in Taurus, or if you have Uranus in the second house, Uranus is a planet of disruption, disruption of, unconvention, of, of unconventional behavior. Uranus rules Aquarius, or anything Aquarius, anything eccentric, different, weird. Think of Uranus as like lightning, that lightning strikes unconventionally, unsuspectingly, it's loud, it's just there. You don't know when, when the next one's gonna happen, and, it, and when it happens, you feel it, and it's like really in, in front of you, like a bolt of ideas, a bolt of Enlightenment is like a strike of idea, strike of alignment, strike of energy, basically. Uranus is very unconventional, so it likes to go against the grain and breaks the rules all the time. So wherever Uranus is in your chart, that is where in your life you feel the need to always rebel. You feel the need to always go against the grain, to be different, to be unconventional. You feel the need to have that freedom in that area in life. So think of Uranus as our freedom seeking planet that gives that tells us what we like to do that goes against the norms of society the norms of our traditions it breaks traditions big time so not having uranus and taurus or uranus in the second house what does that mean you already know taurus energy is all about is, is an earth sign so it's all about grounding itself and having material possessions and knowing the inner values the second house represents the values possessions money things of that sort so having Uranus here, Uranus and Taurus, or in the second house, means that you're gonna have an unconventional way, an unpredictable way, a different traditional breaking way of making money for yourself, a different traditional way of making, of having your own sense of value. So to start off, I'll say like in all the earth sign placements, all the earth sign houses, the second house, the sixth house, and the 10th house, having Uranus in any of these houses automatically makes you want to make money for yourself completely against the grain from society. So that means that society says, go to work nine to five, work five days a week, four days a week, whatever. Y'all will definitely want to go against that and make your own money in your own original way. So to start, Uranus and second house people, Uranus and Taurus people, do not like making money. 
the way everybody else does it. So you have like a weird eccentric way of generating income for yourself. These are the types to be entrepreneurs. These are the types to work for themselves at home or whatever they're doing. So y'all love to do things in a very different way when it comes to generating income for yourself. Now understand, Taurus energy, second house energy, likes to hold on to things. It likes to, it's very stable, grounded, reliable, kind of stubborn to changing, stubborn to moving. It's very like, you know, stuck in its way in a little bit. And Uranus, the planet, and, I, and as I say, all the planets on the, and the <laughs> all the planets in our universe, in our solar system, stands upright. Uranus is the only planet that goes on its side, so Uranus always wants to break the rules. So second house wants to hold on to things, wants to save money, wants to accumulate wealth and all that. Uranus in the second house, Uranus and Taurus, Uranus makes that stability factor. It breaks it, it breaks the rule. It kind of makes it more unstable. It kind of gives y'all more of an instead of like trying to save money for a rainy day y'all could be the type to actually spend money sporadically unsuspectingly it could be hard for y'all to save money because money is not really important to your honest second house people as in like i want to save it because i want to buy something in the future it's like y'all look at money as a way to express yourself or as in a way for freedom you look at money as a tool for freedom so understand that in your lifetime money will fluctuate big time up and down you could have unsuspecting occurrences as in this month you're you're thriving in money this month it might go down also your spending habits can be unsuspectingly up and down too so keep in mind that y'all don't really like to save like that you could have like impulsive need to always spend something always buy something or you just kind of don't put a lot of value on material things because that is your sense of freedom putting value on money like a Taurus energy does is like kind of being in that traditional role, kind of being stuck in your way. Uranus wants to be free, be sporadic, be different, kind of disrupt the peace a little bit. So it'll make y'all not have that mentality of trying to save it so much. It'll make it have the mentality of like using it to travel, using it to do this, using it to do that, using it to experience life, using money to do things that make you feel free. So keep in mind, like I said, you have to understand that your spending habits and your saving habits can fluctuate big time. So keep that in mind. But all in all though, also your value system, second house, all about, second house is also about your value system. The way you feel about yourself, the way you value things, your moral code will be against the grain, will be against society, societal norms. People will look at you and think that you're very weird or different because of how you value things, how you value yourself, how you spend your money, what kind of job you have. Like most likely you will have like your own kind of entrepreneur type job. What kind of the kind of way you're, the kind of way you're spending your money sporadically, or the kind of way you're using money as a tool for freedom. So Uranus here wants you to not hold on to things, wants you not to be traditional, and wants you to be against the grain, unconventional, your own original kind of thing, your own original kind of ideas, your own original kind of way of making money for yourself, your own original way of living life, being free using your possessions, using your monetary possessions, but not holding onto it, if that makes sense. And now, also the second house is all about, also Taurus energy is all about pleasures and all that. So you can have an unconventional way of um, experiencing pleasures, of doing what you like, either like having a, a weird taste of food or a weird taste of music or or a weird taste of even like your sexual pleasures. So I'm gonna give an example of, of Nikola Tesla. Like you see how he made a legacy for himself, but he also has, he has Uranus and um, Taurus. So for him, his way of going against the grain when it comes to pleasures, as he told himself that he's going to be celibate, not experience pleasure, go against the grain, because everybody else in society always has sex, releases, they don't really practice semen retention, or he likes to be celibate. So him going against the grain, doing that against society norms, because one to 5% of men practice semen retention they practice like celib that celibacy th that celibacy thing so that's going against the grain so him doing that is what kind of created his own way of creating legacy for himself him being different and eccentric in that way of pleasure especially him holding out to create an abundance for himself is a is, is an example of using your of how uranus and taurus kind of plays out as in like everybody does the same thing but uranus wants to do something different everybody everybody likes to have sex likes to release Uranus, Uranus and Taurus, Uranus in the second house will be like, nah, I'm about to go my own way, my own unconventional, erratic, sporadic, different, weird way to do something that will help me build a legacy for myself. And I'll sidebar real quick, I might start preaching real quick, but somebody needs to hear this. For all the men out there, 
that are not happy with your current situation, that are not feeling like you don't know what your purpose is, you just you feel lost in this life, understand how powerful and important if you practice semen retention, and I always preach this, if you practice this, you will literally, that's like the first step to, to reaching legacy status. And, I, and now, like I said, only one to 5% of men actually do this. So this is going against the grain. This is being unconventional. Unconventional, this is being untraditional. But understand the benefits that happen with, if you practice this. If you're going through life and you're not really happy with yourself or you don't like the way women treat you or your money is not right, this will definitely jumpstart your life big time. That's like, that's a little sidebar. That's for a whole nother video. But an example for like, you know, your Ron's second house is your pleasures will be unconventional. Your money will be unconventional. Your sell values will be unconventional. So keep that in mind. So these people, like I said, don't really hold value onto material things. They don't really hold on to things for too long. You'll see things in your life come and go, whether it's material possessions or money coming and going all the time. So your sense of freedom is being able to have your own source of income for yourself, own way of working for yourself to make money for yourself unconventionally against the grain against the social norms so freedom for your honest energy is everything you being stuck in that nine to five you being stuck in that cubicle little box is really restricting is really conforming so uranus does not like to conform so automatically understand that uranus in the second house uranus and taurus they want to break traditional rules want to break society norms and do their own thing people will look at you like you had such a good job working for this company and you quit and you actually did your own thing. Why are you doing that? You're so weird. But in your mind, it's like, I don't care about the money. I don't care about the paycheck. I don't care about, I don't care about the stability factor of having the same like mundane job. I care more about my freedom. I care more about doing what I love. I care more about just experiencing life in a more free manner. So I could work for myself and do what I want rather than having a boss tell me what to do rather than having somebody kind of structure things in a way that you have to follow the rules in a way. So understand that when it comes to money for you, when it comes to your self values, y'all don't like following the social norms or social rules. So all I'm going to say is that understand the sporadic nature of your spending. Keep keep that in mind, but keep keep your original business ideas in mind and keep working towards these things and you will realize in this lifetime that you are here to be your own boss, to be your own entrepreneur kind of energy, to be your own person when it comes to stability factor for yourself money-wise. Work on a saving thing that you're not spending sporadically all the time, but generally all in all though, the more you express yourself in a more individualistic way when it comes to your values, when it comes to your money, when it comes to your pleasures and all that, that is what will definitely give y'all the most the most fulfillment in this lifetime, give y'all the most blessings in this lifetime. So that was my video on Uranus and Taurus. I hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is going to be on Uranus and Gemini and you already know I'm about to go in. If you have subscribed to my channel, appreciate all y'all for real for real but if you still haven't subscribed yet go ahead and handle that one time for you boy don't forget to drink your water mind your business and be safe out here it's your boy Lil finesse jiggy hippie i'm gonna see all y'all when i see y'all 